Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Dakaullah Saleem. This is my dua come true. A few years ago, my mother, rahmatullahi alayha, she was in hospital suffering from kidney problem. She was not uh, passing the urine and because of that, she had swelling all over her body. She was admitted into hospital and there was no improvement. She was in Pakistan, I was in the UK. So her situation was getting worse and worse day by day. I had to book a flight, so I flew to Pakistan. I stayed with my mother in hospital for a number of days. I myself could not see any improvement. So I requested the hospital to discharge her so that we could take her to another or better hospital. When we arrived in hospital, the doctor said, we can provide her some kind of treatment for her kidney, just to avoid the painful process of dialysis. And they said, before we take that step, of uh, doing the dialysis, there is uh, one particular tablet that if we can find, we can purchase from the chemist, then it may help. So Alhamdulillah, we managed to find that tablet in one of the pharmacies and she was given that tablet and it did help her a bit. First day, and it was Thursday evening. Friday morning, she was given another tablet, but this time with no benefit. The swelling was still there on her body. Friday around Juma time or just after Juma, the doctor said her situation is getting worse. And because of the fluid all over the body is affecting other organs and particularly heart. So it is very dangerous. So we have to make a decision. If she doesn't pass the urine within next four or five hours, then we have no choice but to start the dialysis. And dialysis in that kind of situation is very painful because it's done through the neck, a vein in the neck. And we were all scared and were very kind of uh, sad, very upset. And it was Juma, uh, it was Friday. And we said, uh, we requested to the doctor, please hold on for a number of hours, at least until Maghrib time, so that we can make dua. So doctor accepted our request. And SubhanAllah, you can imagine, you know, that was a very, very uh, difficult time. Because uh, she was in that condition for a number of days or probably weeks and uh, her situation was not getting better and apparently it seemed that this, this is the only solution for her to go through the dialysis process. And we didn't really want her to go through this painful process. So we turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brother, my sister, the siblings, myself, we said to ourselves, you know, this is the best time. The day of Jumu'ah, one of the times in which the dua is answered as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the dua of the believer on the day of Friday is accepted. In fact, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there is a particular time within the day of Friday in which if a Muslim makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not reject his dua. So he said, perhaps this is the time. So let's turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we started making dua. There was a small masjid within the hospital. Myself, my brother, 
Alhamdulillah, we went into the masjid and we started making dua from Asr all the way up to Maghrib. And uh, as he said, we had requested the doctor to delay the process or making the decision of starting the process of dialysis until Maghrib time. So this was the only reason we requested because we thought we, we could make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, we had uh, certainty and yaqeen by the tawfiq of Allah that uh, dua is very powerful weapon. So we made dua from Asr until Maghrib and then the Adhan of the Maghrib was called and uh, we prayed Maghrib in the Masjid. After praying Salatul Maghrib, I came back into the hospital, into, into the room. My sister was sitting there and she was a bit happy. I said, Alhamdulillah, what happened? Is it good news? She said, Alhamdulillah, the doctor has come and doctor has uh, examined her and the doctor has said because she has started passing the urine now, so there is no need to start the process of dialysis. And Alhamdulillah, the grief was over and the calamity was removed. So this is the power of dua that we saw on that particular day. That uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered the dua instantly. Day and then, within a within few hours. Obviously, this is one of the methods of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of answering the dua, which does not mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers your dua by giving you what you have requested necessarily. Rather, your dua can be answered in other ways as well as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. And this is one of them. That uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you what, what you have requested for. The other way is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes a hardship and difficulty or a bigger or greater problem from your way because of the dua that you have made in the past. And the third one, which is the best method of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in answering your dua is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves your duas for the day of judgment. Why is it best? best? Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the person whose dua has not been answered the way he wanted in this dunya, i.e. that he was asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his great wisdom, he did not give him what he wanted, what he requested. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved his dua for the day of judgment. So on the day of judgment, this particular servant of Allah will say, I wish that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have not answered any of my dua in the dunya because of the great reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give to that person. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Hidul Jalal Ikram is pleased with us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers our dua as He subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the best way He subhanahu wa ta'ala sees for ourselves because He is our creator and He knows us better than we know ourselves.